Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use the barometric pressure change indicator on your Casio ProTrek PRG600 watch. This is module 5497. So I like to refer to this feature as a storm alert. It basically works the same as a lot of other watches on the market. There's Garmin watches, there's Suunto watches, there's other Casio watches that can basically alert you anytime there's a sudden change in atmospheric pressure. Either the pressure rapidly rises or it rapidly decreases. And when you have that, it can basically indicate that there's a storm coming or a windstorm coming. This watch does the same thing. The negative about this watch is it only does it for 24 hours at a time. So it's kind of set up on this watch where, you know, maybe you're going camping or you're going hiking and you want to just turn this feature on so that for the next 24 hours, if there's any rapid changes, you know that you need to take cover or get out of there. That's exactly how this feature works. The feature is part of your barometer. So if we look at my watch face right here, your digital display down here, you have a few different options to display. You can always have your barometric print, uh, trend showing. When you turn on the barometric pressure change indicator, what would happen is if there's a sudden rise or fall, you will see a arrow pointing down here, either pointing down if there's a sudden fall in pressure or up if there's a sudden rise in pressure. And then there's a couple indications if there's a sudden ri sustained rise after a fall or a rise in pressure. So those are the two different values. The watch will actually beep as well to let you know that there is a rapid change in uh, atmospheric pressure. Basically, it's a storm alert. It's letting you know that there's a potential for a storm coming. So enough about that. How do we turn it on? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into the barometer. We're going to do that by pressing the bottom left button. That's our mode button. You will see this little uh, hand will point to the B-A-R-O screen, and you know that you're in your barometer mode. When you go into the barometer, it kind of looks just like what we just saw. You still have your 24-hour barometric pressure trend uh, graph on the left-hand side, but on the right-hand side, you have your actual barometric pressure reading. Now, you'll notice that my second hand is also going around. If you don't want to use the second hand, if you press the top left button, you will have your differential pointer. You'll notice that the second hand moved over to the right. What this is showing you is it's showing you what is the change in barometric pressure from now versus your last reading on your graph. So it's basically a, uh, a how would I say it? A differential from, from current to most recent reading, whereas this down here is showing 24 hour trend. Mine's pointing straight because there's no change between the current reading and the last time my graph took a reading. You can see this thing pointing up. You can see it pointing down depending on what the change might be. Anytime you want to get out of that, if you don't want to use the differential pointer, you can simply press the top left button and it turns back into a second hand. Now the storm alert feature, what we're going to do, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but watch this screen down here. We are going to press and hold the top left button. And you'll notice it said info on, and now down here you can see that it says info on. Basically what that means is that you have turned on the barometric pressure change indicators. These will stay on. You do not have to stay in the barometer mode. So if we get out of the barometer mode, this is still turned on and it will stay on for 24 hours. Or if your battery level falls to low, it will shut off automatically because it's constantly taking barometer readings. The difference between this and regular barometer mode is regular barometer mode takes a reading, I think, every 30 seconds for two minutes, and then it goes to every two minutes. When you're in this mode, it will continuously make barometric pressure readings because it's looking for that sudden change in barometric pressure. It will continue to do that for 24 hours. You can stay in the barometer mode up to an hour. After an hour, it will kick you back to your timekeeping mode. You can always just go back to your timekeeping mode by pressing and holding the bottom left button, and now we're back in timekeeping mode. We are in timekeeping mode, but again, I'm not sure if you can see it, the barometric pressure change indicator is on. So we're in timekeeping mode, we're keeping an eye on our barometric pressure graph, and we also have the storm alert turned on so that if there's any rapid changes in atmospheric pressure, barometric pressure, we will get notified on the watch. It's basically watching our weather conditions for us. Pretty simple stuff. I know it gets a little bit complicated, but I hope at least it lets you know that that feature is on the watch so you can play with it. Again, that's your barometric pressure change indicator. As always, I hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.